Hi everybody, it's Christy with Kidding Around Yoga and I'm so glad you've decided to join me for a rainy day yoga break. So let's start by shrugging our shoulders up to our ears, taking a deep breath in, exhale all the way out. Let's do it again. Breathe in and exhale. Great. Now, how do rainstorms start? Sometimes they start with a little bit of wind. So let's rub our palms together and make the sound of the wind. Sometimes the wind will blow all around. So let's make the wind blow all around. Very good. Then it starts to rain a little bit. Sometimes it starts out kind of slow. So start patting your thighs kind of slow. Then the rain might pick up a little bit. It might start raining a little more and a little harder and a little faster. And you can pat your legs all over making the sound of the rain. Sometimes the storms get bad and we can hear thunder and lightning. So let's do lightning pose by standing up, making the shape of a lightning bolt, sitting in chair pose, making the shape of a lightning bolt. And then the thunder comes and let's stomp our feet and make the sound of thunder. Very good. Sometimes thunderstorms can be a little bit scary, but we know that ultimately they're going to come to an end. The rain will start to slow down. And eventually the rain will stop. You might even see the sun come out after a rainstorm. And if that happens, it creates a beautiful rainbow. Let's make the shape of a rainbow by stretching from one side to the other side. Rain is so important because it can also help flowers to grow. So let's do flower pose. So bring one leg up, take your hands underneath, and now let's do the same thing on the other side. Good. Now take a deep breath and smell the flowers. <sighs> Rain is also important to help the trees to grow. Let's do tree pose. Go ahead and stand up. Take one leg, tip it in against the other ankle, just like that. And now we'll stretch our tree branches out. Now, if your balance feels really good today, you can bring that leg up on your calf or all the way up on your inner thigh. Just make sure you don't put the foot on the knee. Very good. And remember in yoga, whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other. So let's even ourselves out by doing tree pose on the other side. The trees are important. They can provide a lot of shade on a sunny day and they provide a great place for the birds to build their nests. Birds like eagles. Let's do eagle pose. Take your right arm under the left, wrap your arms up. Now, if that is really hard for your shoulders, you can just bring your arms across like this. Now take your right leg up and over the top of your left. Nice job in eagle pose. And then let's even ourselves out by doing it on the other side. So take your left arm under the right, wrap it up, left leg up and over for eagle pose. Great job, everybody. Go ahead and have a seat and we'll end this practice with a couple really deep breaths. So again, shrug your shoulders up to your ears, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and let's rest our palms up on our knees and let's tap each finger to our thumb as we say these words, peace begins with me, peace begins with me. Now say the words just in your head, not out loud, but keep tapping your fingers to your thumb. Very nice. Now sometimes a rainy day, people can look outside and feel really gloomy and sad on a rainy day, but other people look outside and see the rain and that makes them think about rainbows and the flowers and the trees and how important the rain is to those things. So remember, whatever it is that you focus on is how your day is gonna go. So think about positive things, think, think about happy things, and the rest of your day will be happy and positive. Thanks for joining me for this yoga break. Namaste.